This is the pinkest pink, and I thought it would be a cool idea to turn it into a dye. Oh, oh no. And stain a guitar with it. Oh. Luckily I had a guitar which had a nice top which is perfect for this. Now before doing this I called Ben from Crimson Guitars for his opinion on this. So I called him and said, can I have your advice on using the pinkest pink as a guitar stain? He said, I'm not sure but there's only one way to find out. So I sanded down the guitar top and then stained it with some Crimson Guitars black stunning stains. I sanded it back and mixed up some pinkest pink into a dye and then got staining. And it ended up like this. I'm not gonna lie, it's not very pink but it still kind of looks cool. It's sort of slightly off purple with a little bit of pink. But what I did find with this stuff is if you used a lot of it, it tended to sit on the top of the guitar rather than sink in. So that's why I like the crimson stuff. It sinks in and works as a dye, well, like a stain should or a dye should. Um, I mean, it sort of works. It looks kind of cool, but it's not ideal. Either way, I let it all dry. I sprayed it with a few coats of nitrocellulose and then restrung it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment.